Hi there, let's talk about high level overview of business intelligence and data analysis. As a data analyst, you are on a journey. Think about all the data that is being generated each day and that is available in an organization right from transactional data in a traditional database to telemetry data from different services you use to signals you get from different areas like the social media. Businesses of today collect and store massive amounts of data. Yet businesses continue to struggle to use their data in a meaningful and more productive way, which impacts their ability to act. Business should be able to use their vast amounts of data and information in such a way that impacts the business. The key to unlocking all this data is being able to tell as a story with it via compelling and insightful reports. Your journey of telling a story with the data also ties into building that data culture within your organization. While telling the story is important, where that story is told is also equally important and crucial. So making sure the story is told to the right people. Moving on to overview of data analysis. Before data can be used to tell a story, it must first be run through a process which makes it usable in the story. Thus, data analysis is the process of identifying, cleaning, transforming and modeling the data to discover meaningful and useful information. The data is then crafted into a story via different reports for analysis to support the critical decision making process. To analyze the data, core components of the analytics are divided in different categories, starting with descriptive. The descriptive analytics helps answer questions about what has happened based on the historical data. The descriptive analytics techniques summarize the large data sets to describe outcomes to the stakeholders. Then we have got diagnostic. The diagnostic analytics have got different techniques which supplement more basic descriptive analytics. They take the findings from the descriptive analytics and dig deeper to find the cause. The performance indicators are then investigated to discover why they got better or why they got worse. Then we have got predictive analytics. The predictive analytics techniques use the historical data to identify the different trends and determine if they are likely to reoccur. The predictive analytical tools provide valuable insights into what may have happened or what may happen in the future. Then we have got prescriptive. By using the insights from the predictive analytics, the data driven decisions can be made. This technique allows businesses to make informed decisions in the face of uncertainty. Lastly, we have got cognitive. The cognitive analytics helps you to learn what might happen if circumstances change and how you might handle these situations, derive the conclusions based on the existing knowledge basis, and then add these findings back into the knowledge base for future inferences and a self-learning feedback loop. Talking about different tasks of a data analyst. Now that you understand the who and the what, it's time to discuss the how. You already know that a data analyst is one of several critical roles in an organization, helping uncover and make sense of information to keep the company balanced and operating efficiently. As such, it's vital that you as a data analyst clearly understand your responsibility and the tasks which are performed on a near daily basis. The skill set of a data analyst is essential in helping your organizations gain valuable insights into the expanse of the data they have got and working closely with others in their respective roles within the organization to help bright to light valuable information. Starting with the prepare, where the data preparation is the process of profiling, cleaning and transforming your data to get it ready to model and visualize. It takes the raw data and turn it into the information which is trusted and understandable. It involves different things, ensuring the integrity of the data, correcting wrong or inaccurate data, identifying the missing data, converting data from one structure to another or from one type to another, or even something as simple as masking the data or making it more readable. Then we have got model. Once the data is in a proper state, it's ready to be modeled. 
Data modeling is the process of determining how your tables would be related to each other. And that's where it is done by defining and creating the relationships between the tables. After this comes the visualize. This task is where you get to bring your data to life. The goal of the visualize task is to ultimately solve the business problems. A well-designed report should tell a compelling and impactful story about that data, enabling the business decision and helping you quickly gain needed insights. The reports created during the visualization task would help the businesses and decision makers to understand what that data means so that accurate and important decisions can be made. Moving on to analyze. The analyze task is the important step of understanding and interpreting the information which is displayed on the report. In your role as a data analyst, you should understand the analytical capabilities of Power BI and also use those to find the insights, identify different patterns and trends, predict the outcomes, and then communicate those insights in such a way that everybody can easily understand them. Lastly, we have got manage. So there are different components in Power BI, including the report dashboards, workspaces, datasets, and much more. As a data analyst, you are responsible for the management of these Power BI assets and share and distribute these items like reports and dashboards and ensure the security of the Power BI assets as well.